Edgemin Automation has installed a fully automated storage and order picking system with WMS software at Alcon Belgium. The system allows for a more efficient and automated production of Alcom's custom packs. Those are personal operation kits for ophthalmic surgeons. With the system, sub-assemblies for over 2 million custom packs are produced every year. The warehouse is located in a conventional area, whereas the order picking area is inside a clean room. This is a highly purified and pressurized area to keep dust outside. To meet clean room requirements, Edgemin installed special conveyors with powder coated supports. All control cabinets in the clean room are made of stainless steel. The electrical wiring is placed in fully enclosed plastic cable ducts. To transport the totes between the clean room and the warehouse, Edgemin integrated sliding doors. These minimize the pressure drop inside the clean room. Together with Alcon, Edgemin also supported the validation of the software. Now let's have a look at the flow of Alcon's storage and order picking system. From the buffer warehouse, goods are supplied to four replenishment stations. Here, incoming goods are unpacked by operators and placed into closable totes. The operator takes a box from the supplied pallet and scans the barcode. From the Alcon system, a label is printed with the correct instructions for unpacking the goods. The operator scans a cleaned and empty tote, unpacks the goods and fills the tote as instructed. The amount of items is confirmed in Edgemin's warehouse management software, EWMS. Then, an ID label is printed to identify the goods inside the tote. After that, a control scan is executed on the ID label. The operator puts the tote on the conveyor to bring it to the mini-load warehouse. The conveyor system supplies the totes to the in-feed conveyors of the mini-load warehouse. The warehouse provides storage space for 3,500 totes and has an in-feed and out-feed capacity of 360 totes per hour. Totes are stored double deep by means of two high-speed stacker cranes. The storage location is determined by EWMS. When new goods are needed, EWMS triggers the cranes to retrieve the corresponding totes and to bring them to the outfeed conveyors and the clean room. At the SMAs or small assembly stations, subkits for the custom packs are prepared. These subkits are assembled with a maximum of five different items. Based on the production date of the orders and availability of goods, EWMS sends the required totes to the SMA stations. At the SMA station, each order begins with some order preparations in EWMS. The operator checks the supplied goods against the order list and registers a target tote. When all controls are performed successfully, the operator takes out the right amount of items by following the software instructions. When the target tote is ready, the operator scans the tote and puts it on the output conveyor to bring it to the mini-load warehouse. If more source totes are waiting for the same order, the operator repeats the control and assembly process until the order is complete. The final SKUs or components of the automated storage and order picking system for custom packs are counted at six stations. Just like the SMA stations, transport of the totes to these stations is fully planned and controlled by EWMS. For each tote, a control scan of the ID label is executed against the order list. If successful, EWMS instructs the operator to count the right amount of items for the order. The individual items are placed in small target bins. After confirming the amount of counted goods, EWMS will print a label to identify the goods. The operator attaches the label to the target bin and places the bin on a cart. The source totes are placed on the conveyor and returned to the warehouse. 
This process is repeated for each tote that arrives at the station. After the counting process, the carts with all counted SKUs or components for an order are brought to the packing area. Here the content for the custom packs needs to be sorted in the right order and assembled, ready for sterilization and shipment to the ophthalmic surgeon for the next surgery.